so let's start learning about the implementation of gradient descent and like we uh, said in the last video we will need a function that we want to minimize so let me create a sample function that we will learn how to minimize right so i'm just going to import few libraries that we will be needed okay so let me generate some numbers x i'm using the np dot arrange function and it basically generates numbers in the range 0 to n minus 1 so this is the value of n right so i got a list and let me say i have y which is a function of x okay so i'm just hard coding a particular function so y is x minus 5 whole square and both x and y are numpy arrays let me show you what is x and y this is x and this is y so clearly now our task is to uh, given a function okay, given a function f we want to find the value of x that minimizes f so given a function of x this is what we are going to do so given a function fx we want to find the value of f uh, the value of x that minimizes f and this we will do using the gradient descent update equation that we have seen right so the goal is this so let's see let us first visualize our function right let's do some visualization and let's plot this curve x as a function of y and let's call the show function so you can see this is how the function looks looks like and let me just change the plotting style so that graphs look little better now you can see this is the graph right and let us also label the axis okay so on the y axis we have fx and on the x axis we have x so now we want to find out that value of x that minimizes fx so what we will do we will start with the random value we can say okay x uh, let's say there is a variable x small x okay so x is let's say initially 0 and we can define a gradient descent function that minimizes this x okay so let's see how we can write this initially x is 0 and we have to define a step size which is the learning rate let's say this step size is 0 0.1 and what we can do we can say okay i will take 50 steps in the downhill uh, in the downhill direction right so let's say say take 50 steps in the downhill direction and we'll see what value we arrive at so for i in range let's say 50 and how do we move downhill so that is easy so we say x equals to x minus learning rate which is lr into the gradient and how do we compute the gradient of the function okay so how do we compute uh, gradient of this function x minus 5 whole square so clearly you know the differentiation so let me uh, tell you this gradient will be nothing but 2 into x minus 5 this will be the gradient okay learning rate into gradient because if you differentiate this function with respect to x you will get this as the value of the gradient so this is the update rule right 
and that's it and what we can do now is we can run this code okay and every time we can say okay let's see the value of x so you can see x starts from 0 it goes it becomes 1 it becomes 2.44 and so on and at last it becomes 4.99 which is very close to the actual value right so ideally our answer should be 5 so in this case we are very close to 5 which means our algorithm is converging so let us add uh, some more visualization here so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to compute the value of fx so let's say fx denotes error right so our goal is to minimize error so error i will store the value of error at each iteration right or the value of fx at each iteration so we can say okay the error will be given as so error is nothing but x minus 5 whole square so this is what fx is right and we can say okay i will create a list in which i will append the value of e okay. and at each iteration i will also plot the value of x and the error so plot dot plot the value of x and the value of error or you can say this is nothing but the value of y okay so your y is given by this and this is y and this is also y so error is same as y so plot dot plot x y and in the beginning i can say plot dot plot capital x and the capital y and this is better if we do the scatter if we use the scatter function right so let me run this code now and you can see this graph so this is exactly how the value of fx is changing so we are clearly descending uh, down right so let me show you what we are doing now here Yeah, so using gradient descent, we are taking steps in the downward direction and you can see this step size is decreasing because as you go down, the magnitude of del of fx with, with respect to del x is decreasing and hence this product, which is the effective step size, this also decreases, right? So you can see gradient descent in action now, right? So this is gradient descent in action. So as you're going downhill, your step size is reducing and you can also plot the values of error, plot the values of error. So which means how does your error change over time how, or how does your FX changes over time? So let's plot the values of error now. So you can say plot dot plot error okay. and this is how it looks like so it shows uh, as you increase your number of steps so your error reduces continuously up to 20 steps and then after that after then it saturates because uh, at this particular point at 5 you your uh, your gradient becomes 0 right so one thing that you can do here now is uh, you can put a if condition right you can say okay if uh, delta x or if the delta x the change in value of x is very small okay is uh, less than a certain threshold you can put a break condition so this will help you to stop early instead of going for a 50 iterations right so that is something you can implement yourself in this code so I hope you understood the concept of gradient descent in this video and in the next lecture we will extend gradient descent for linear regression.